Could tongue posture transform you from looking like a blob to looking like a model? Well, that is exactly what people do in Ewing claims. And it sounds almost too good to be true, so I decided to dig deep down into this Ewing stuff and see what it's all about. So, I'm gonna explain Ewing very simply because I've realized that a lot of people are overcomplicating it. Ewing is basically just pushing your whole tongue up against the roof of your mouth, aka your palate, and keeping your lips closed and breathing only through your nose. That is Ewing, and this is apparently the correct way to go about your life when it comes to breathing and tongue posture. Let me also quickly break down the name. It's called Mewing because an orthodontic, you know those dentists who deals with treatment of crooked teeth and braces and that kind of stuff, called Dr. Mike Mew is the founder of Mewing. Dr. Mew claims that doing Mewing can prevent and cure many health problems, but also make you look a lot better. He claims that Mewing causes your facial bone structure to grow and reshape forward instead of downwards. And forward facial growth equals a more good-looking, healthy, attractive face. Mewing has been a thing for a few years, but at first it was only big in the black pill slash look smaxing slash insult kind of communities. You know, the angry men on the internet who blames their looks mainly, but also women and pretty much the whole entire world for not getting laid. But lately Mewing has been gaining a lot of momentum into the mainstream. And there is just one major problem with mewing, and it comes to the scientific evidence that backs it, and how it affects your looks. Well, there is none. But wait, before you dislike the video and hate me because I ruined your vision of looking like Jordan Barrett, here comes the good part. Even though there are no direct studies on how mewing in fully grown adults should cause these changes that Dr. Mew is talking about, there are actually a bunch of science that indirectly says that mewing probably should work, and also that it could be very healthy for you. But anyhow, the lack of direct studies by Dr. Mike Mew has caused some trouble for him. It actually got to the point where Mew was banned from the British Orthodontics Association because they felt that he had unrealistic and unscientific claims. Dr. Mew responded to this by saying that his new science of orthotropics, as it's called, could be bad for the business of orthodontics, and that if people knew the correct tongue posture from the beginning, not as many people would have to go to the orthodontist, which would endanger their money. So that is kind of a harsh claim, kind of savage by Dr. Mew, but that is how he responded. So, now we're gonna look at some studies that's re that revolves around the subject of mewing. So, one of the big things with mewing is breathing through your nose and not your mouth. And it's common knowledge in medicine that mouth breathing is straight up horrible for your health. So it is very wise to have a tongue posture which prevents it from happening. Breathing through the nose lets the air be cleaned and transformed the way it is supposed to in the body. The nose has sort of a filter which stops dust and bacteria from reaching your lungs, and this filter is absent in the mouth. And it is also a more efficient and calmer way for your lungs to take up the oxygen, and when you mouth breathe, the exhaling tends to raise your heartbeat and kind of give you like stress and anxiety. Mouth breathing also makes you more likely to have sleep disorders and poor sleep and develop stuff like sleep apnea. And another pretty crazy finding that's also very recent on the science with nose slash mouth breathing is that nose breathing actually makes you remember more. Participants in two groups was asked to remember stuff while being forced to only breathe with mouth or the nose, and the group doing the nasal breathing remembered more vividly. The scientists are kind of unsure on why this is, but some point at how the nasal breathing could be better at providing oxygen to the right parts of the brain. Okay, so now we know that breathing through the nose is a lot better health-wise. So Dr. Mew is right at that part. You can't argue with him on that. But what about the looks part? Studies has shown that mouth breathing impacts children's facial growth in a negative way. It does, according to this study. 
promote a convex facial profile. And this is sometimes referred to as the melting face look, and it's not the best look to have. So that nose breathing is better for children when it comes to looks is actually confirmed. And mouth breathing does change the way your face is shaped. But this study is done on kids that are growing and it's much easier to change the shape of something that's growing than something that's already done. Dr. Mew claims that what he does should make adults' faces become more model-ish as well. But this is where Dr. Mew is claiming something that science doesn't really back up, but most actually points at that bones can be reshaped with pressure over time, and that is what mewing basically is. So in conclusion, it is not really proved that mewing will reshape your face as an adult, but it is at least likely. And I mean, just because something is not yet proven by a bunch of clinical studies doesn't have to mean anything, because medicine evolves all the time. And there is not always studies made on everything that's correct. And like I just told you, there are a bunch of studies that's kind of on this subject that kind of points at that mewing probably should work. And another fun little bonus thing with mewing is this. Do you see this bone right here? If you press your tongue up against your palate, aka mewing, you will see that it lifts up your double chin. So mewing is actually a quick fix for a double chin and improves your facial look in profile instantly. So there's actually no reason to not do mewing since the tongue posture promotes nasal breathing which is better for your health during sleep and also everyday life. And it lifts up your palate to make you look better instantly. And regarding if tongue posture is enough to actually cause some real changes in facial structure is not really certain yet but see it as a bonus onto a more healthy habit. But hey, many people have experienced results and Dr. Mew seems to know what he's talking about. So Mewing gets my approval. He has yet to put up real scientific studies supporting all of his claims of the crazy benefits. But in the meantime, it's a healthy way to breathe and to hold your tongue posture. And it hopefully will make you look better in 5 years. And that was all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe and comment and all that good stuff if you enjoyed it. And I'll catch you later. Goodbye!